it's beer o'clock on Reload Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from St. Erhard Brewery and it's a bottle of their Farmhouse IPA coming in at 6.5% ABV. There's a look at the bottle, there's a look at the bottle label. Traditional Belgian style bottle, Farmhouse IPA. Mm, you could probably trace its roots back to certainly the Farmhouse Ales of the world. Trace it back to Belgium most definitely. Uh, the bottle cap has got a bit of paper over the over the cap there. We'll, we'll get to that later on, or maybe I could just show you one with not, without the paper on. Let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. Oh, look at that, look at the smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass then. It's pouring out deep, amber, slightly mahogany coloured ale. It's got a lovely look to it. Uh, the head dissipated quite quickly. It initially was for a split second a one finger white head, but that's dissipated very quickly. Uh, carbonation's rolling up the glass. Uh, quite clear to look at for a farmhouse IPA. Uh, let's get the aroma. I do get the hops, a spiciness, a slightly pepperiness, a, a stinging nettle aroma. But also what I'm getting is big, kind of biscuity, nutty, bready, chewy, malty, toffee aromas. It smells really good, really interesting at 6.5% ABV. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Hmm. I would say it's drinking more like a German Bock, if I'm perfectly honest with you. I've got no problem with that whatsoever. I'm a big fan of German Bocks. But for the style, I'll show you the label, Farmhouse IPA. There's a little bit of stinging nettle on the back end. There's a little bit of spiciness, a little bit of pepperiness going on. Touch of lemon. But I'm struggling to find the farmhouse funkiness in the beer. There's a touch of licorice, there's a touch of vanilla, there's a touch of woodiness going on, uh, big chewy almond nuts. Um, roasted nut flavours going on, biscuity, bready, like walking through a French village smelling them fresh baguettes in the morning, lots of carbonation pushing the beer on the inside of the mouth, but, but, no real farmhouse flavours. No, and what am I, I'm expecting a little bit of kind of horse blanket going on, a little bit of funkiness. I'm not really getting any of that. But still a really interesting box style beer, if you want to call it that. I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it, i tell you what I'll do. I'm going to tell you, if you want to buy a really good Bock beer from St. Erhard, then buy their Farmhouse IPA. It's a lovely box, it's a lovely strong German style beer. St. Erhard, of course, based in Germany, German craft beer. But if you bought this after reading the back of the label and you're looking for a really good farmhouse IPA, uh, this is a million miles away from it. So I'm going to have to rate it as a farmhouse IPA. Uh, and yeah, it's probably nowhere near, if I'm honest, a 5 out of 10. 5 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer, but a really lovely bock. Please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer reviews, give us a big fat thumbs up, boom, and cheers.